Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League, coming right up. It's Newcastle United versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Might really be able to trouble them here. Trippier. Takes the shot. Really good diving save. Short corner taken. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Now the short corner routine. Sven Botman. Firing it towards goal. Oh, keeper in control. Well, opting for the short corner. Well, we're hearing news of a goal in the Liverpool match. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a goal for Leeds. They've scored the open up with 11 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Donny van de Beek starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Scott McTominay. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, the hosts will be determined to claim all three points, and they know if results go their way, they could end the day at the summit, Stuart. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams, and I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. And the cross is very much on. Must take the lead here, and pushed onto the woodwork. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches with the details here's Alex yes it was a penalty for Chelsea and I think luck was on his side today and it goes well the pressure has been mounting and now they have the lead well as you can see it was a fairly simple finish in the end but you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. So back in action. And it's up to United now to be inventive. Scott McTominay. Now Casemiro. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect? To... Really good diving save. And the short option preferred. Sends it back. He's going to have a go here. Terrific block. And breaking at pace with Menace. Scott McTominay. Here's Ronaldo. McTominay. Jaden Sancho. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? So underway again, following the goal that made things level. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. 
but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Donny van de Beek Cristiano Ronaldo promising looking ball really sound goalkeeping well that had to be a goal didn't it what a stop that is but he's gone short with it growing pressure here and another corner short corner favoured well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here and players waiting in the centre well United have certainly controlled the ball as you can see but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one Excellent defending. Extremely sloppy in possession. Miguel Almiron. It's there for him. What a save. Isaac. Wonderful block. Pressing high and they have the ball again. He takes aim. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Marcus Rashford. Diogo Dallo on the ball. The first half here comes to an end. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Matt Target, Sam Axima. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Newcastle United facing Manchester United. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward. Well kept out. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Oh, great vision. Good looking move, this. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Van der Beek. And options in the centre. Surely the equaliser. Ronaldo! Magnificent finishing from one of the world's best. Seven. And level seven. again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. He's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, it almost did the trick for them. Great defending. But I'm hearing the situation has changed in the City game. Alex Scott is going to tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Leicester City. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 59 minutes gone. Thank you, Alex. And it's with Isaac. Shelby. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal.
Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. It's going to be a double substitution. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Van der Beek. Can he get them level? Pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. That was a great opportunity to score. Here's a change for Manchester United. Fabian Scher. And can they prize them open now? Chance to do damage. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. A change to the scoreline at the Etihad, I believe. Alex Scott. And it's the second goal for Manchester City. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many... ...different players involved. And once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. It's now 2-1 with 71 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And the substitution will occur now. And short it is. He made it look simple, really. So a throw in here. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Burnley. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Well, let's send it over to Alex Scott, shall we? Because, Alex, there's been a change to the scoreline in the Villa game. It's another goal for Aston Villa. It's now 2-1 with 76 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Burn. Trippier. It's Dan Burn. So not long to go in this one. Can Newcastle secure the win? Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward, but poor defensively. But I do think they have been the better side for much of this game. They just need to defend their box with determination in these last few minutes. Shelby. Target with it. Buckman. Well, that must be mighty annoying when you can't get near the ball. Burn. Sven Buckman. Fabian Scher. Ball with Shelby. Sven Buckman. Matt Target. Dan Burn. Trippier now. Burn. Joe Linton. Matt Target. Three minutes of added time here. Now he must favour the cross. Matt Target. Shelby. Can he find the net? And a fantastic diving save. 
Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Ritchie. It's one of the saves of the season from De Gea. They take it short. Fraser. And that will be that, the final whistle here, and Newcastle fans around the world will be delighted with the outcome. What did you make of their performance? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive. Shelby. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton up against Newcastle United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's how Everton line up. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And so the battle commences. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Could be. Oh, really close. Just over the top. Alan. Ruben Vinagre. Gray now. Could be dangerous. It might be. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Botman. Target with it. Oh. 
Top class defending. And I'm sure the visitors will be thinking about claiming all three points here, Stuart. They do know that if results go their way, they could end the day at the summit. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams. And I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. Mopé. And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Are back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, he's got past his man. Almiron. Isaac. And offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Garner. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. Now potential danger. And it's a penalty. The referee points to the spot. And it's going from bad to worse. A chance to extend the lead. In it goes. Totally converted. Second goal for them here. And continues his run. Sam Maxima! And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. And they get the ball rolling again. Just get the feeling the Magpies believe here. Cody on the ball Andros Townsend Patterson Townsend Everton moving the ball forwards what can they do from here surely well fantastic reflex action Playing it short. Garner. Good defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. All hands on deck. And it's with Isaac. And time just challenged magnificently. OK, just hearing the situation has changed in the Brentford game. To what extent, Alex Scott? It's a goal from Manchester City. They've scored the opener with 29 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Now he must favour the cross. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Sam Aksima. And there to intervene. Patterson. So almost at the halfway stage and Newcastle narrowly behind in this one. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first 45? Well, it's been a good game, but they've been second best in a couple of key areas. That needs to change in the second half. Otherwise, oh, they could finish here, Stuart. And going to happen next moving into the advanced position 
A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Alan. Promising sequence. But they dealt with the threat posed. Saint Maxima. Richie. Shot blocked, but still alive. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. And the ball is moving again. 3 2. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Oh, good play, this. Crossing possibilities. Well, the clearance half hearted. And so it is the first half story. So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage Everton after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. And goal news to bring you from the Brentford game. Here's Alex with an update. It's a second goal for Manchester City. They're ahead by two now, with 48 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Alan is with Garner. Gray. Can he play it in? Ruben Vinagre. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, that's one of the best first half performances I've seen in a long time. Just so assured in everything he did, and no wonder they keep giving him the ball. Now it's just a question of how many goals he'll get today. Far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Not away completely. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, blocked it! And the referee says corner kick. For They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Short corner favour. Can he find the net? And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Everton taking on Brighton. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Getting in there to intercept.
Miguel Almiron. He continues his run. But they dealt with the threat first. Everson unable to retain possession. Well, a goal to let you know about in the Brentford game. Here's Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a third goal for Manchester City. They've pulled ahead by three with 69 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. It needs an accurate cross. Is it going to be? In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, the stats don't lie. Everton have had a lot of possession. And, and he's broken free. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Brighton. I think the goalkeeper did his homework with this one because he dived the right way. The scoreline remains 2 all with 74 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Patterson. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Newcastle United facing Everton. Individual brilliance. Now just the tackle that was needed. Disappointing for the Magpies to give it away like that. OK, Alex Scott can tell us all about a goal that's been scored at the King Power Stadium. Yep, it's a goal for Leicester City. They are losing 3-1 with 84... Opportunity it is. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, how about this? 4-3. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. To confirm, Leicester have scored in that match. But an uphill climb it is. They're down by three goals to one. Gray. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. And intercepted it. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And the referee blows the whistle. That will be all for this game. And no points picked up by Newcastle United. What did you think of it all? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal. But I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach.